actually have some substance to it and you could go wow this person is really interested you know so how could this guy make a movie write a movie and actually bring it to the world and then you you don't even have kids coming to see this movie to be inspired to go hey mom I want to be like that guy I want to do a movie just like that I want to be a cameraman I want to be a sound man you know and it's not just in that it's in everything you know you could want to be a doctor or a lawyer you know we just need to stop knocking each other down okay enough of that we, we, we have things in our life that knock us down every day, every week, every hour, every minute. We don't need to do it to ourselves, okay? So, to see that the people are not supporting things like that, it's really not only sad, it's pathetic, to tell you the truth. So, this is just my point of view, and... You know, like I said, I've done a lot of things for our church, okay? But don't get me started on that. I've done a lot of uh, uh, paintings that I've given away for the youth at church that have raised a lot of money to go to places as far as San Jose or California or Chicago. And you know what I have gotten from them? You guys want to take a guess? I'll give you like three seconds. Zero. That's right. Zero. Nothing. Not even a $20 gift certificate to Applebee's. Not that I'm hungry or I'm in love with Applebee's or actually I'm actually advertising for them. But this is an easy thing to say. Okay? Not even a gift card to go, you know what? <laughs> you spend a lot of money on these canvases and your paintings and you're giving them away and we're raffling them, we're making money, okay? I don't know how many is in your group, probably about 20 or 30 youth. These are the people that are going to be growing up and becoming men and women of our generation. And none of them sat down one day and said, hey, wait a minute, this guy comes in and he brings all the stuff and he's paintings and he gives them away and we make the money and... Has anybody, like, asked them to go out with us to dinner one day? Or maybe we should give them, like, a gift card to, like, say thank you? No, it's not like that I need it, okay? This is how I've survived, is not doing things for the Assyrian people, okay? Not that I have a hate for them. It's because they don't appreciate what an artist does or what talent is okay because everybody thinks that you know just like today you know you go to a picnic okay i took a buddy to a picnic not too long ago and when he walked in he was an american guy obviously and he's like wow this is pretty interesting and i go yeah you like it don't you and he says yeah yeah it's 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 not bad uh so, uh, where's the baseball bat? Where's the softball? Where's the frisbee throwing? Where's the soccer ball? Where's the volleyball? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, I thought we were coming to a picnic and not a wedding. I said, oh, well, we, we, we don't have any of that. This is, this is basically our picnic. And he goes, oh, okay, so if the singer stops, what happens then? I'm like, well, uh, that's a, that's a good question because uh, besides eating we really don't know what to do I think we just sit down and talk about each other so uh, sorry I had to get the screensaver off so there you go and he's like yeah you know all you need is a bride and groom to walk in and you got a wedding Jesus you don't have to invite anybody you're already there so this is what I'm talking about our weddings our picnics Okay, our parties are the same. They all look the same. And today it's just gone crazy. It's way beyond crazy, you know. I went to a party the other night, okay. They had a poster of a guy and a girl who were going to be singing, okay. And five other singers came up and sang. 
They didn't sing one song. That's like having, you know, it's like going to a Led Zeppelin concert, and then there's Elton John, and there's, uh, let's say, John Lennon, and there's, uh, you know, Matchbox 20, and you got Sticks, and you got Journey, and they all get up and sing for an hour. And you came to see Led Zeppelin. Well, you know, it doesn't work that way. So, you know, if you're going to get up, sing one song, okay, and get off the stage. Okay, we, we don't need to hear your whole CD. So if anybody walked in like late film party, they would have thought, okay, where's the singer that's on the poster? Oh, who is this guy? Well, this guy, you know, he took a shower about three days ago. And while he was in the shower, by the time he came out and dried off, he had a CD made already. Okay, everybody that walks in the shower and comes out has a CD. I, I, I don't get it. You know, how many singers do we need? And you know what? You're all the same. You all sound the same. You all look the same. The B I remember we used to have a band. B-A-N-D, it's called. A band. We had a guitar player. We had a drummer. Okay? You had a keyboard guy, you had a bass guy that actually played instruments. That's right. Now all you get is a keyboard and a guy with a, I don't know what it is, it's a, it's a drum kit, uh, supposedly. Uh, I understand trying to become more compact and, and easier to, to set up, but the whole idea of a band, the sound of the guitar solo, the sound of the guitarist, the sound of the bass, the sound of the drum roll, those are all gone. Because everybody is a singer now, all you need is, hell, I'm singing, for Christ's sake. So, that party was just a joke, okay? It was just a joke because, you know, and, and when you're a singer, next time you're at a party or a wedding, please, if you don't take, even if you watch this and you don't want to take my advice, and please, I'm not trying to tell you to take my advice, but let me just give you this advice. And if you do take it, hopefully it'll work out for you. If it doesn't, then obviously you go ahead and do what's working best for you. Okay? When you're in the middle of your song, please don't hold up your CD to sell. Okay? We're not at a garage sale or a bazaar. All right? And it's not worse that when you hold it, I understand you're advertising your CD and you're holding it up. So people know you have a new CD, you know, that's great. But the worst part is, is when nobody walks up and buys it. That's the sad part, okay? You're not only embarrassing yourself, but you're embarrassing the people that made that CD for you by just holding it up like it's, uh, you know, like, like you just came out of the shower and you just made a CD, okay? So it's worse when you hold it up and nobody walks up and buys it from you, okay? So next time, don't be holding up CDs, okay? You know, and if you're worried about why people are buying one CD and they're copying it to another CD and they're basically giving it away so you're not selling too many because people do that a lot, well, we Assyrians do that. So if you guys are smart, why even come out with CDs? But then again, <laughs> you want to have a CD. Well, then you go ahead and make those CDs, okay? But the young generation, you just go to YouTube because your songs are on YouTube. They're going to download them, and I'll have your CD within five minutes before you even sell it. So, you know, the way we do things is we like free. Assyrians love free. The second best thing that we love is we love being late. Late to everything, okay? We supposedly have given not only from knowledge, uh, from ethics and inventions as far as uh, mathematics and wheels and calendars in the ancient time and have spread it out for the whole world to use, but uh, we never kept anything like that for us, okay? They invented those. 
we haven't invented a damn thing. The only thing we invented is how to get pissed off at someone else who's better than us, or how to break him down, or how we can talk about him on his back, or how we can take that CD and make 16 duplicates of it for our family without buying another one. So, I can go on and on and on and on and on, and maybe I should write a movie about that. But it comes to a point where I have to get this out, and I have to let these people know that, you know, you might think you're all that, but you're not, okay? So it's not just saying it, you have to be doing it, okay? You have to actually do it. Okay, you're late for a wedding, you're late for the parties, dinner's at 7, you show up at 9.30, demanding where your food is, why is it cold, you know what, the people who are throwing the wedding, they have a certain time, because the workers are going to be there, the workers are told to serve the food at 7, you don't show up till 9.30, so we hold the food till you and your family and your six kids show up and then we give you the food and then you complain why is it cold then the guy who's actually running the place gets pissed off and basically wants more money for keeping the workers three more hours longer than what they should be so when they should be cleaning up they're actually serving the food this is who we are okay so let's stop hiding behind the mask and let's actually start facing the facts okay this is who we are I got another thing coming we talk about going back home and claiming our land who wants to bet me I guarantee you not only 99.9% .9 .9 but I'll guarantee you over a hundred percent that if I send an invitation that tomorrow we're taking over our country how many of you are going to be on time? Not many, right? You're going to be late, even on raising our flag in our own country, in our own land. So stop BSing yourself and everyone else, okay? You're going to be late to your own funeral. So, as far as going back to the movie, uh, I do love supporting people like that who put the effort and the time. If nothing else, if you go see this movie, which I think is going to be playing in California, which is San Jose and Turlock in that area, if you're in that area and you're watching this, it's going to be there uh, soon, I think. Uh, it's been advertised on NB set. Um, we also have a drama coming up in uh, San Jose on the 15th, which is a Friday of March 15th, and then we're in Turlock, I believe, on the 17th, which is a Sunday. Um, so, I actually, from my standpoint, my, my standpoint is actually, I do support people like this, who take their time to write something, to be creative, to actually make something out of nothing. Just like people are amazed I, I, people don't get amazed that are Assyrians about my work. It's people that are from all over the world. From India, from Germany, from New Zealand, from Sweden, okay? From Africa. These are artists that I aspire to be one day like them. This is who I get my gratitude from, okay? When they tell me that painting behind you is freaking amazing, that's who inspires me. Yet if I showed you their work, you'd be go, Sam, you are nothing compared to them. Yet they're telling you this stuff? Yes. Because it's a mutual respect. Okay? So, be creative. Do something. Just like I take a blank canvas and when I'm done with it, it's worth 600 bucks. Okay? All these you see behind me were all white. So, let's stop talking and let's start doing. Please, go ahead and support this movie. If you, if you go and you don't like the movie, at least support them. Just like an Assyrian would. 
okay? Let's support each other and let's stop knocking each other down, okay? Because when the time comes, nobody's going to help us. Nobody's going to help you. Nobody's going to help me except each other, okay? And with that, hopefully you'll go see this new movie called Parhanita, which means butterfly in Syrian, butterfly in English. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Look for it. If you need any more information, I'm sure you can find it on Facebook. Or um, I think it's called Extreme Vision Films by Arthur Nissan. So uh, uh, you can contact him on Facebook, um, who did a great job in assisting in the editing. Um, so with that, I think I've said my piece. And hopefully you've gotten something out of my little rant. So with that, I'm signing off. This is Sam Sicaria with Simon Max Productions. Thank you.